Hey everybody, hey everybody, hey everybody, how are you? So I am Bernadette Henry and I am here with another uh, live for y'all. So if y'all have been following me all week, I have been on the roll. And Monday we spoke about why your unresolved issues are stopping you from losing weight, number one. Uh, on yesterday, last night, we spoke about why your weight loss is not going to make you happy. And today, we're talking about why your weight loss supplements, your weight loss surgery, or your waist trainer is just not going to help you out at all whatsoever, okay? So today, hey, how you doing, Black Girl Hooping? So basically, when you are trying to lose weight, especially if you're a woman over 40, your why, which I addressed in the last two days, your why has to be stronger than, oh, I just want to look good. I just want to fit into these jeans. I just want to look good for my birthday. I just want to get that man over there. I want to fit in this social group over there. I want to do this. Your reasons for losing weight has to be deeper than the, the it has to be deeper than something that's a vanity metric, okay? Because what's going to happen is that when you don't have a deep reason and when you do lose that weight, guess what? You're not going to be able to maintain it or you're just going to get it back as as fast as, as you gained it. And in the title, basically supplements, uh, surgeries, and waist trainers are considered to be quick fixes, okay? And no, I am not against waist trainers. No, I am not against surgery. No, I am not against against supplements. What I am against is that mindset that you're going to just take a supplement or get a surgery or put on a waist trainer and all of your problems are going to go away, okay? It takes more than that, okay? So, Supplements can become can come in a variety of things. So particularly what I'm talking about maybe is like detox teas or protein shakes or CLA, all of these things that will assist you in that process. Okay, now let me tell you something. Everybody must detox, okay? Whether you decide to use a detox tea, whether you decide to use a green juice, whether you decide to use whatever pills or whatever the case you, you use, it plays its role, okay? So I'm not going to sit here and talk bad against it, but what I am going to talk bad against is when you think that you can drink a tea for five days and you lose that five pounds and you think that that's the end of your life. No, you have to do other things to complement that. Like if you're going to detox, I think doing a detox is a wonderful idea and everybody should detox because we have backed up things in our systems. We need to clean our colon now. We, you know, we, we got, we got a detox. Detox is very important, but the problem is when you don't accompany that with some sort of lifestyle change. So if you're drinking a detox tea or doing some kind of detox, guess what? You need a lot of water because the water is what's going to help everything, push everything out. You need to eat better food, you know, so that that weight that you eliminated won't come like right back. You need to move your body. You got to exercise. Like these quick fixes, quote unquote, they will help you like for a few days. And then after that, what do you got left? Nothing. Okay. And that's how you get sucked into that trap. And yes, I do do the whole supplement thing. Yes. I drink my detox teas and I do this and I do that, but guess what? I also work out. I also, um, Hey, what's up? How you doing, Alex? I also jump rope. I also try to make changes in my diet. I also drink a lot of water. And what's most importantly is I have that mindset, okay? Because when you now don't have that mindset to want to do these weight loss things for lasting change, it's not going to happen, okay? Waist trainer. I probably wear a waist trainer every time I work out because, you know, it helps my pants from falling down. And who wants to see all my stomach jiggling all over the place, okay? So... Waist trainer, it has its place, right? But, and for me, it's more of a vanity thing, right? But it has its place. But don't stop thinking that you can just wear a waist trainer for two weeks and then it's going to make your whole life go away. No, you still have to do the work, okay? You got to drink your water, got to eat your food, got to exercise, got to do something. Can't just rely on that. Now, let's move on to weight loss. A lot of people are out here getting weight loss surgery. So they got the gastric bypasses. And then I forgot the new one that they have out. But they have a variety of different kind of surgeries, okay? And... The problem 
is it not really the problem. Yeah, the problem is it's a quick fix, right? So you you get your surgery, you go through the healing process, and I don't know how long it takes, but then the weight starts falling off, right? And you look good, right? You look good. It does a great job for you. But what happens, like talking about the last two nights, if your mindset is jacked up, okay? If your mindset is jacked up, right, before going into that surgery, when you do have that surgery, guess what's going to happen? All that weight is going to come back, you know? And I've seen both sides of the pole. I've seen where some people got their surgery and they was able to maintain and live their best life and do what they had to do and still look good. But then I've seen other people that it was like, okay, this was like a whole waste of money because, because your mindset and your heart was still jacked up. You got the surgery. You looked good for that time that you, um, afterwards, and then you put the weight back on. Why? Because it didn't do the job that you thought it was going to do by making you feel good. Just like when you lose weight naturally, right? By eating right and, and drinking water and exercise and then all the other things, because it's more than just losing weight is more than just eating right, drinking water, exercise. Okay, it's more than that. Like, especially when you're a woman over 40, you have a lot more things going on in your life that affects your weight loss or affects your metabolism, such as stress, which we spoke about um, on Monday. Like, like your 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 mind, your heart, your body, it all works together as one. And when one is disjointed, then everything else is going to be disjointed. Okay, so your why has to be bigger than, oh, I'm just going to look good, or I just want to fit in this group, or I just want to do this, or I just want to do that. Your why must be more deeper. And your why should be really focused, especially when you're over 40, your why should be more focused on your wellness. Okay, if I do this, you know, I may eliminate the high blood pressure pills, or if I do this, I may decrease the the diabetes, or if I do this, if these things apply, if I do this, I'll be healthier to live a longer life. If I do this, I'll feel good in my mind. I'll be a little bit more happier because I got those endorphins working. If I do this, I can think straight. Like I have my energy for the day to accomplish all the goals and attacks that I, the tasks that I set out to do. So you have to now shift your mind from thinking about the vanity metrics of losing weight to maybe the wellness reasons. Okay. Because now when you have a wellness goal or reason for wanting to lose weight, then I think it makes it a bit more valid because it's like saying you have something to live for okay now when you're saying that you just want to lose weight just to you know look good and 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 find new friends and getting into a new relationship and going looking good for your birthday party on a cruise like if those are your reasons for wanting to lose weight like it's just not going to work okay hey l lampin it's just not going to work but you want to have real legit reasons like hey i want to be around for my kids hey i want to feel happy hey i want to think clearer hey i want my skin to be clearer hey i just want to you know feel good emotionally you know those are the reasons if you're trying to lose weight that you should try to lose weight and yes if you decide to want to use like the supplements or the waist trainer or the surgery, you want to make sure that you have a clear conscience on why you're doing it. Okay. You want to have a clear conscience. You want to make sure that you feel good about yourself. You want to make sure that you're confident because guess what? If you are not confident while you are quote unquote plus size, you're not going to be confident once you lose this weight. I promise you, you're not. Okay. So you have to get that fixed first. So if you're on a journey and you really don't understand why you're going on this journey, then I suggest you speaking to somebody to really reevaluate the reasons why you want to do this. Okay. You really, really want to do a thorough evaluation on why you want to do this. Okay. So, um, if you have received some kind of value from this, you know, and, and, and if I hit some points for you that you need to reevaluate, feel free to give me a call or, you know, I have my calendar link and <laughs> the bio. So if you're watching me on Facebook and YouTube, I have a link where you can schedule a call with me if you would like to discuss this further, because I totally understand the struggle. Okay. And it's so much pressure on a lot of women out here, especially if you're on social media all the time. And say, for instance, you're looking at a certain woman that has had babies and they've snapped back in like 2.5 seconds. And you're looking at yourself like, oh my God, gosh, like I had my baby five years ago. What's wrong with me? 
don't do that. You know, that is the number one killer. The number one, you like, um, self-worth like downer is that you're comparing yourself to people that may not have your same life. And even if they did have your same life, so what? What's the point? There's other things that happen. Like if you're mentally and you're emotionally stressed out, guess what? You no matter, even if you know you have to go exercise or go take a walk, like outside for 10 minutes, you're not going to be able to do it consistently because you're so boggled down with whatever stress it is. So in your mind, you'll know, Hey, look, I need to do this, but your body is like, okay, I'm just not going to do it. Okay. So like I said, you have to do the work. <laughs> okay. So if you don't use the supplement surgeries and waist trainers, you have to do the work to lose weight. Right. But if you even do decide to do the surgery, the, the, the supplements and the waist trainer, you still have to do the work. So no matter what side of the fence you're on, you still have to do the work. And like I said, the work is just not just eating right, drinking water and exercising. Like it's way more, it's way deeper. And your why has to be extremely like up there, up there. And your why should be more so associated with your wellness than the vanity metric. And I don't know how many more times that I can say that, but if this has resonated with you, if this has hit home for you and you really need to dig deep to find that why, because you want to be here. Like I said, if you're on Facebook and YouTube, feel free to click on a link. I have a calendar link where you could contact me and we can talk this through. Um, if you're on Instagram, just send me an inbox. We can talk this through. If you are looking for weekly challenges, um, they will be around health and wellness. So right now we're doing like a protein for breakfast challenge. And then every day, or every week for up until December, 2021, I have it. We got challenges, weekly challenges. So come join the group. I believe on Facebook, YouTube, there is a link to my free group where you will have weekly challenges. I'm so excited about it. So feel free to go there and accountability is everything. Okay. So go join the group and let's work on our goals together. You won't be alone, right? Community is everything. So if you, are there any questions here? Does anybody have any questions? All right, so if you don't have any questions, once again, I am Bernadette Henry and I help overwhelmed moms manage their physical, mental, and emotional wellness so, they, so that they can live to the highest level of self-care for themselves and their children, okay? Because if you ain't well, how are your children? How, I mean, how are you going to even manage to deal with them, okay? Because they could be a piece of work, like I know. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you later. Bye.